Hey everybody, this is Matt from Avacore Benzel. I want to talk to you today about contact tip material. Earlier we did a series on the difference between drawn versus drilled. Well today we're going to walk through the actual material of these contact tips and show you the upsize of each. Alright, let's start off with a standard copper contact tip. It's pretty basic across the board. You'll see a lot of uh, makers do some slight variations, but the general principle of it is the same. A couple little design features you're going to see on a lot of contact tips that's no different from ours. First off is the little tapering here on the front end. It's not just to make it look nice and sleek, it's also to help give you access into your MIG gun so you can use your MIG pliers or any other tool that you have and clean it out, get that spatter bridging out inside your nozzle to keep your torch running nice and smooth. So aside from the tapered front end for the access for cleaning, you're also gonna see on the threaded area where the wire entry is, is the shallow entry here on the bore. So the shallow entry, you're gonna notice, it kinda looks like sort of a funnel if you look at it up close. And that's certainly by design to help the wire feed into the tip without a bird nesting or anything like that at a pretty crucial point in the torch. So aside from the shallow bore entry on the threads to help for the wire entry, there's also the chamfer base here. And that's designed so that the contact tip will sit nice and snug up against your diffuser. And that's obviously designed for conductivity so that the maximum amount of weld current travels from your cable to your diffuser to your contact tip. When working with a standard copper tip, it's a very soft, but very conductive metal. So what you're going to see is a high level of conductivity with a standard copper tip, anywhere between 50 and 60, and a low level of hardness, probably somewhere between 100 and 110. You'll get the high level of conductivity, but it'll experience more wear at lower temperatures, and that is why sometimes it's better to trade off to a copper chrome zirconium tip. So moving on to a copper chrome zirconium, or as we call them, CZ tips, you can always tell that you're using one because there'll be this groove base here right next to the chamfer part, and that's always the design giveaway that you're using a CZ tip from Benzel. Now, with copper chrome zirconium, it's an alloyed metal mixed in copper, chrome, and zirconium, so it's going to be a denser metal that's going to have a higher hardness value. In the case of the CZ tip, you can get up to 160 on your hardness value, but because you're using less conductive metals, in this case zirconium in particular, it's going to have a conductivity level of between 40 and 50. A lot of that will depend on the way that it's made. So in the case of benzyl tips, you're using the high speed drill process, you're gonna get that smoother bore surface so you'll get that better conductivity inside your tip. You can expect it to last longer than other CZ tips that you may use. One other thing to note about CZ tips and why you may wanna use them is because CZ tips have a much higher temperature resistance than your standard copper. Standard copper is going to experience mechanical wear, which is basically where the tip will start to wear on one side, cook, or just fail in general. At about 500 degrees Fahrenheit, a CZ tip can get up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit before it will start to experience mechanical wear as long as you're taking care of it. So a lot more life and a lot more durability from a CZ tip compared to standard copper. One of the drawbacks of using a CZ tip sometimes is that low level of conductivity can be a turnoff. You're in that lower 40 range, higher up 50. You want to stay closer to 50. Obviously, the more conductive you are, the better current you're getting to your weld piece. One way to overcome that is to just move up to use a silver plated tip. Now the silver plated tip uses the copper chrome zirconium material. You can tell because it still has that same groove up by that chamfer base, but it's coated inside and out with silver. Why silver? More conductive metal. So you'll still keep that same hardness value of around 160, but your conductivity will be reliably closer to that 50 range so you can experience less spatter buildup and a higher level of heat resistance because silver is a likewise a very durable metal. So just like the CZ tips, silver will get up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit before experiencing mechanical wear, but because it's using a more conductive metal, you're going to get a higher level of durability and less spatter buildup as a result. So let's say all these tip materials, they're all well and good, silver plated, CZ, standard copper, but they're not enough for your welding operation because you need something that's really high amperage, hot gas mix, etc. Look no further than HDS heavy duty silver plated contact tips. While not discernibly different from a silver plated tip, these HDS tips use a special process called dispersion strengthening to further the properties of the contact tip and make it even more resistant. Now we'll ask your physics teacher what dispersion strengthening is, but essentially it is incorporating submicron particles into the alloy, which makes it extremely heat resistant. You're talking a heat resistance of up to 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you have a high amp, application, this is something that's going to really hold up to that level of scrutiny. 
If you want more information on Abacor Benzel's contact tips, or if you want to try any out, talk to your local Abacor Benzel rep or visit us at benzel-abacor.com. This is Matt from Abacor Benzel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day.